What's up, y'all? Gavin, Jonquil, Atlanta, coming to you. Blair and I just rolled up to this pile. This is a uh, fellow landscape owner's home. He, he's got a company in a different part of town. It doesn't make sense for his guys to come up here and bag all these leaves for them. It don't work out, especially since we're just down the street. So he called me, said, hey, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get him to get him to the street. I just don't have the time. I'm not gonna have my guys bag or nothing like that. So we got the old leaf act here. Billy goat, 13 horse. We're gonna knock this out. So this is gonna be another video to add to the collection of our dump trailer, sucking up leaves, take care of all that. This is gonna be a big one. Our trailer here is probably half full, I think. So we're gonna have to break in the middle of this one, run to the dump, come back and get the rest. It's gonna happen, I know it. So. Y'all enjoy. These are more videos we're going to be putting out this fall. If you ain't subscribed, get subscribed. Any questions, comments, leave them below. We're going to fire this pig up, knock it out. Till next time. Be good. Enjoy. By the way, let me add, this is a pretty good pile. Let me walk this way. Get the sun out of her face. Look at this lady over here. Look at that. You see her in the back over there? You see her in the paint right over here? She's got all them leaves, man. She's got a little little, little uh, battery powered blower. She better grab a Snickers because it's going to be a while to finish that one. Check that out. Big one. Good size. Good size. I'm going to tell you right now, if that trailer was empty, we'd get it all in. If it was empty, we'd get it all in. I promise. But love, again, no rain. Crunchy, dry, big fat leaves. Billy goat. Mulch them down 12 to 1 ratio. Hammer it out. So, again, action footage. Y'all enjoy. Be good. Fire and hole.
have some medicine. Got a chunk. It takes some time. There's a little pine straw between it, so it gets compact. And like I said, I didn't I didn't bring the pile down here. The customer did. And there's some sticks in there. You can see us for throwing them out. We don't want to suck them up. A leaf bag, not a wood chipper. People don't understand that. But this is it. We're about to be filled up. Won't be five or so minutes. We'll be filled up. We'll have to uh, get in there, stomp her down, go from there. I'll tell you what, when we do that, I'll show you guys how we do it. So, we'll see. All right, y'all. So we've pretty much filled up. Blair just jumped in. I'm gonna swing up here so you can see it as well without dying. That's it. So this thing's full, right? So we'll take three quarter inch piece of ply and we'll just stomp her down, stomp her down, stomp her down, right? We'll pretty much gain about a third to a half by stomping it down. And this takes, this takes five minutes. But it's important to do because all the leaves as the mulch i mean they're mulched down but they're still a little fluffy i mean you you, you do this over the course of the season it'll save you probably for me i estimate it saves me somewhere in between i don't know probably 10 to a dozen trips just by stomping it down when she fills and keep filling it compact it down you know you add that up, you go 10 dozen times a season, it saves you. You know, you pay $60 a load, something like that. That adds up. So, just simple little spare piece of plywood, our trusty, rusty piece that we've had on this trailer for a couple years. So, all right, just stomps it right down. Gain that all back. So, just a little tip, if y'all are back and do that, compact it as you go. A bit more on the trailer. Less expenses. So, we're going to do this, put the top back on, get back at it, finish this job. All right, y'all, it's gone. See ya. 55 minutes. <coughs> 55 minutes. How long was that pile? That pile was six feet wide, four feet tall. 30? I'm going to say probably at least 40. Probably 40 feet long. That's a good little bit. It was dry. It mulched up real well. We did have to get in the trailer a couple times, stomp it down. Um, like I said, our trailer was like half full to start. So we had did about half the pile, ran to the dump, come back, got it finished. But it's nice. It's Friday, about three o'clock, getting finished up. All this stuff here, that's all the trash. People blowing everything out. Let's see, let's see what kind of trash we got. We got sticks, like I said, it's a, all that stuff. Perforated pipe. There you go. A fucking flamingo. Irrigation pipe. Got some frisbees. Got the magazines. And I take that to the vegetative dump, man. They fucking scream at you. And then they tell you you can't dump there no more. So that ain't me. That's for them. So looks good. Cleaned up. Right there. 5x10, 13 horse billy goat. So I'm going to tell you right now that this trailer, I've done this long enough, this trailer will hold just about 11 cubic yards. So if you mulch all the material we had up based on what it is and fluffy and being able to compact and what we did before, that pile you saw in the beginning would fill this whole trailer right from the get-go. So 55 minutes from the get-go would fill this whole trailer. Again, that's a 13 horse billy goat. So if you do the, the time, it was dry, it was easy to clean. We just had to pick up through some debris, go to the dump, figure out your expenses, figure out what you need to charge. That's what we got going on. Again, Friday, a little after three, weekend. Cervezas, I'm out. See you.